Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone. And welcome you all to another episode of Identity in 15 Sessions, powered by WSO2 Identity Server. So today's session is all about customizing WSO2 log Identity Server Login Portal Layout. So before directly jumping into the topic, let me introduce myself. I'm Dasani Giganage, a software engineer at the Identity and Access Management team of WSO2. So next, let's go through our uh, lineup for the day. Uh, first of all, we will be discussing about what is layered customization, and then we will move forward with the steps that we need to follow in order to customize login portal layout. And finally, we will be moving forward with the demonstration. So first of all, so let's discuss what is layout customization. Uh, so layout customization is basically customizing or branding the user interfaces or the layout of the portal without introducing much or barely minimum port level changes. So we all know we have different portals and pages in our WSO2 identity server. So login page, registration page, username, password, record pages, and many more pages. So what we are trying to do today is we are going to customize the layout uh, of these pages uh, into a different layout, and we are going to give a brand look, a brand new look for these pages. So as we all know, we have a particular layout in our login portal. So this is our login page. So on the top, you can see we have the product footer, and then in the middle, it's covered with the main section. And on the bottom, you can see the product footer. So what uh, this is the layout we have in the login page of our identity server. So what we're doing today is we are gonna customize this layout and give a brand new look to our uh, login page. So as I mentioned before, so we, this is the current view or the default view of the login page in identity server. And uh, today our plan is to make, uh, make it look like this. Uh, by giving a new look and uh, doing the uh, layout customization. So after the demonstration, if all the steps go right, we need to get uh, this look at the end of the demonstration. Uh, so now uh, let's go through the steps that we need to follow in order to customize the layout. Yeah, so there are a set of uh, prerequisites that we need to follow here. Uh, you need to have Java installed in your machine. Uh, so that's uh, either Java 11 or Java 8. And the second requirement is you need to have identity server in your machine. Uh, so identity server is an open source and free software. So you can freely download it from this link. And uh, you need to have it running in your machine, up and running in your local machine. Then uh, you need to have the identity apps repositories clone. So you can go to this uh, link and you can uh, straightforwardly uh, clone the repository. And finally, we are doing a small uh, compilation or building for the layout. For that, you need to have Maven installed in your machine, preferably Maven 3.6.3. 3. Uh, so now uh, let's go through the steps. Mm -hmm. Uh, so first of all, you need to create the extensions folder. So uh, inside the authentication portal. So uh, the login portal content are inside this authentication portal in our identity server. So to do any kind of branding or to give uh, the new look uh, and to add customizations, we need to create this extensions folder inside the authentication folder. That's the first step. And second step is we need to have this folder structure, this recursive folder structure inside extensions. And so what you need to do is you need to, first of all, so create a folder called layouts in the inside the extensions folder, and then recursively the folder called custom inside the layout folder. So that's the folder structure that we need to create. After creating this folder structure, we are moving on to the third step in which you need to create uh, these four files so first of all, uh, you need to create the uh, body.html file. Uh, this is the body.html file, which contains all the HTML uh, content. And then you need to uh, create this styles.css file where you need to have all the styles and CSS classes. And then you need to have this script.javascript file. 
uh, where which has uh, JavaScript content. And then finally, you need to have the assets folder in which you have the resources uh, in order to do the customizations, for example, images, SVGs, and the themes. So you need to have these files inside the custom folder. Uh, next, uh, we need to fill up the content for the files in the folder. You have the content that needs to be filled in these links. You need to go to them and you need to copy the content for these things in order to make our layout. Mm -hmm. So after, uh, after copying the things for the layout, what you need to do next is you need to uh, you need to have the product, ti uh, product title and the product footer JSP files inside the extensions. So you need to create uh, two files called product uh, title.jsp and product footer.jsp inside the extensions folder. And you need to copy the content from these two links and add to these two files. This is basically to uh, add the product uh, footer and the title or the header for the uh, for the login page so finally after doing all the copying and pasting things what we need to do next is uh, we need to build our layout uh, for that we need to copy the uh, layout that we uh, created so this is uh, inside the custom folder you need to copy this uh, folder and as, uh, and i said earlier that we need to have a, a clone of the identity apps repository so you need to copy this custom folder in, to this location. Inside the identity apps, uh, apps uh, repository, you have components, login portal, layouts, dash layouts. Uh, you need to copy it there. And then you need to run the command called maven clean install in order to build the layout. So you need to run it. And after running the command, uh, command in this, uh, in this path, you will get a compiled version. So you are getting the compiled version in this path where authentication portal source main web apps extensions layout dash custom so this is the compiled version you need to get a copy of this compile compiled version and uh, paste it back to the place where we got the initial copy that is in the identity server this part uh, so after doing this you have a compiled version of our created layout in the identity server so the things are done what you need to do next is you need to restart your server and uh, weave the changes so that's pretty much the steps that we need to follow. Now, uh, without uh, further discussion, let's move on to the demonstration. Uh, for the, due to the uh, time constraints, I have uh, created, uh, I have created a clone of the identity apps repository and I have downloaded the identity server 610 pack. Uh, so this is the identity server 610 pack. First thing that we need to do is we need to run the identity server. So in order to run, I need to uh, navigate inside the bins folder, bin folder, and then you need to uh, run the wso2.share script uh, command here. So after running the command, you'll be able to see our identity service starting. It's gonna up. So until then I'll explain about the other one. Now this is the identity apps repository. I have I have provided the link in the previous besides. You can go to the repository and you can clone it. This is the identity apps repository. Uh, so while well, this is building, uh, after building, you can see, I will show you how our default login page looks. So this is up and running now when you get this content. Now you need to go to the console. So this is the lo default login page layout, as you can see here. And uh, now we are gonna do the customizations and give the new look to our login page. Uh, so let's go through the steps one by one. Uh, first of all, since the identity server, I said we need to create uh, the extensions folder. So if you, uh, first of all, you need to navigate to the authentication portal or login portal in our identity server. So for that, you need to open the Open the uh, WSO2 identity server 610, go to repository, then deployment. 
server web apps and then the authentication portal so as i said we need to create the extensions folder if you download a new pack you can see it's already created for your uh, easiness so it's already there so this is the extensions folder so the first step is already done and we are moving on to the second step where we need to create the recursive folder structure uh, so here you need to create a new folder called uh, layouts and then inside the layouts folder you need to create another folder called uh, custom so the second step is also done we have created the folder structure so after creating the folder structure we need to create the four uh, three files and a folder inside of this custom layout folder so that we need to do is uh, we need to create a new file first one is body.html The second one is uh, styles.css. And the third one is uh, script.js. And after creating these files, we need to create another folder called assets as well. So now the folder structure is created for you. The files are created for you. So for the first three steps I've done, now we are move, we need to move on to the uh, fourth step where we need to copy the content. To copy the content, I'll traverse through the links. Uh, so for the first uh, file, the body.html, I'll copy the content and I'll paste it here. Then uh, for the second file, which is uh, style.css, you need to copy the content from here. And you need to paste it. You can uh, directly copy this content from the links I have provided in the slides. Uh, next, the script.js file. So copying the content to three files is done. Then we need to add the assets for, uh, we need to add the, uh, image to the assets folder so for that uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to copy the svg called illustration.svg get a copy of that and then uh, add it to the folder. so here we have the assets folder I'll be adding the image like this. So you can see the image is added here. So basically, the fourth uh, step is also done with this. So we have added, uh, we have created the files and we have added the content to them. So at the, as the fifth step, what we need to do is we need to add the product uh, footer and the product title. For that, what you need to do is uh, you need to create uh, two files inside the extensions folder here. You need to create one file, which is uh, product title dot jsp, and uh, the other file is uh, product footer dot jsp. Okay, so we have the product footer and product title empty. So we need to uh, copy the content to those two files as well. For the product title, I have, we have provided the links in the slide. So I copied the content for the product title. Now I'm copying the content for the product footer. So copying the content for the product footer and the product title is also done. So which is the first step, uh, fifth step is also done. So now what we need to do is we need to build our layout, this custom layout. For that, uh, you need to get a copy of this folder. And then that is when we use this identity apps repository. Uh, so you need to go to the location I have mentioned inside identity apps. 
you need to go to components and then login portal layout layouts so inside of this layouts you need to paste our custom folder like this put inside default you need to uh, paste this inside the layouts yeah, so inside the layers you have the default layout and the custom layout the one we created just now uh, so after doing that we need to build it we need to uh, run the maven clean install uh, command from here uh, So for the, um, to get a compiled version of the layout, we this needs, this command needs to be successfully executed. Yeah, this command is successfully executed. So now we should be able to uh, weave a build version of the layout. Uh, for that, you need to go to identity apps, then apps and authentication portal source web apps, uh, source, main web apps, extensions, layouts, and uh, inside uh, layouts, you should be seeing this custom layout. So the changes you need to have is body.surf file if it's built successfully. So since it's here, it's built successfully. You need to copy this and uh, you need to paste it back here in the identity server repository. Uh, repository server web apps extensions and inside the layouts you can uh, delete the existing one basically um, uh, you can uh, delete the existing custom folder and then you can uh, paste the compiled version like this yeah so the steps are basically done uh, so it says the authentication port is uh, reloaded. Let's see. Yeah. So as you can see here, the changes are visible. You can see a, a very beautiful uh, new look in the login page. Uh, yeah. So this is the final outcome of this one. Uh, yeah. And... Uh, So basically, uh, this is all I wanted to cover from the session. And uh, I really hope uh, that you will follow this and uh, you will go through the flow and try out the flow. And you can uh, explore a bit more and uh, come up with your own uh, layout styles as well with the help of this. And uh, yeah, so going through the flow, if you get any questions, you can reach out to us. Uh, through our community channels we have twitter facebook and the other channels uh, so you can reach us and uh, if you have any questions you can get it posted in our channels and uh, that's all we needed to cover from today's session thank you for joining and let's meet up with another episode soon thank you